I've developed the perfect system for promoting coaching. In fact, this system can magnetically pull in people who are searching for you and want to hire you as a coach. Now this strategy is unconventional, but when you see the strategy and understand it, you'll be able to compare it to traditional advertising and you'll see the advantages and see how this pulls in way better leads. I mean, imagine there was a person who was looking for some help, looking for coaching, and a friend of yours or another client of yours took that person and made a personal introduction. They referred them to you. That would be such a really high quality lead. Well, it's leads like that that the system is able to generate. And by the end of this episode, you'll understand exactly how we do it. So in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how you can leverage video to pull in these type of leads. Now I'm not talking about a promo video. We're not making a commercial that we're gonna push and promote to be in front of people. There is a place for that type of advertising, but I found a better way. And the better way results in the referral quality leads. You're not gonna get referral quality leads when you do paid type advertising. Now most of the life coaches that I know that I have worked with when they're in the beginning stages and they're wanting to know how to promote their business, they don't have the type of money that it would really take to succeed with a paid ad campaign. Typically, colleagues of mine that succeed with ad campaigns spend six figures monthly or multiple six figures monthly to have it bring in enough return. So they might spend $300,000 a month on ads, which to me is insane and then they bring in $600,000 in revenue, which makes it worth it. But I'm guessing that your business is not in a place to do that, and that's okay. The strategy I'm gonna share with you works better, brings in better leads than that. Now, many of my clients who started with that type of advertising, the reason that they switched and now do my type of strategy, where they're bringing in warm referral quality leads, is because of a few things. One is a relationship. When an ad is pushed in front of somebody, they're caught off guard. It's an uncomfortable situation because they're choosing to watch something else, but from the beginning, it's just uncomfortable. And that's not the way that you wanna start your relationship with them. Any interaction that they get with you afterwards, whether it's through email, or you finally get on the phone or Zoom and you're having a conversation, they're gonna see you as a salesperson and a pushy salesperson. They're gonna fear that, uh-oh, what if this is like a, a dirty car salesman? Even when you generate leads in this way, it's hard to overcome those barriers and even get them to the point where we're having a conversation with them. Okay, now that we're talking about promoting your business, let me break your business down into three different areas, okay? So this is the promotion. That's what we're gonna talk about. Look, where do your leads come from? How are leads handled? How do you grow that? Like what systems can you do to generate more and more leads? But there are two other areas in your business that I'm just assuming you know how to do this. You know how to have a strategy session. You know how to turn a lead into a coaching client. And then fulfillment, I'm trusting that you know how to coach, that you already have a coaching business established. You know how to deliver outcomes. You've got a team, you've been building systems. So those things are necessary. I'm gonna focus on the lead generation part. This simple page right here is worth so much to you in your business. In fact, this could be a pivotal moment in your business, the difference of having a business that fails and a business that makes seven figures. And I stand behind that because I've created many YouTube channels that have done that. I've created eight figure YouTube channels for my clients. So pay attention. Step number one, find specific questions. I didn't say think of or create in your mind, You've gotta do research to find the specific questions that your potential coaching clients are asking. What are they struggling with? What are they typing into Google and YouTube? Then outline a 10 to 12 minute episode. Don't write a script, just write a, an outline of the talking points that will answer this question. Now, before you record that, that's step four, recording this, but step three, you've gotta take some time to record an intro that creates curiosity. This whole process here, you're not selling them your coaching service, but what you're doing right here is you're selling them the value of this, the value of the, the, the talking points you outline. So you tell them by the end of this video, you will blank. So why should they watch? Record the valuable content, give them a free gift at the end that turns them into a lead. Now those other steps, like you've gotta have a, a great compelling thumbnail. You've gotta title your video with the question. 
you've got to get them on your email list. This is the business side of it. So we're going from pulling in people who've never heard of you before to now they've joined your email list and nurturing them. I just put this here to really emphasize that we're not focused on viral traffic, but we're focusing on search traffic and you can just repeat this process. Now, if you're interested in mastering this and really growing your coaching business, then I have a gift for you. It's called a hero's guide to influence on YouTube. I put two years of work into this book, giving you examples of several of my clients, taking you behind the scenes and showing you screenshots and, and everything I could think of to teach you all the ins and outs of my strategy. I want to give this book to you as a gift, as long as you cover the printing and shipping cost. So go to natesyoutubebook.com. That's my gift to you.